So on this channel, we've gone over several Bluetooth adapters for the Switch. I've actually made a video on five of what I consider to be the best you could get. But if you're looking for something maybe a little bit more, maybe an out of the box, full Bluetooth system for your Switch and pretty much everything else you own, this might be what you're looking for. This, and I guess all of this too, is the Epos GTW270. What's up guys, welcome back, we're welcome in for the first time. If you are new here, do me a favor, make sure you click the link to our Discord down in the description, we're in there every day talking about all kinds of things, so make sure you click that link and we'll see you there after this video. Okay, so like I said, this is a little bit different than most of the Bluetooth adapters that we've looked at on this channel. Most of the other ones that we've looked at that come from Amazon are just the adapter themselves, which is perfectly fine. For most people, that's going to do, especially if you already have your own Bluetooth headphones. But let's say maybe you just got a Switch and you're looking for some Bluetooth headphones and an adapter both. This might be something you want to take a look at. This system comes with not only the adapter for the Bluetooth headphones, but it also actually comes with wireless earbuds as well. Now these are made by a company called Epos, and you may be wondering who is that? And I was actually wondering the same thing, but they used to be co-branded with Sennheiser, which if you know anything about audio equipment, headphones, anything in the music industry, you know who Sennheiser is and you know what kind of products they make. These fall in line with everything else that Sennheiser makes. Epos is now just kind of going out on their own and doing their own thing at this point. Now these are actually the GTW270 hybrid. And obviously the reason they are hybrid is because they come with this. We'll get into all that in a second, but I did want to let you know there are another set of these headphones out there without the hybrid on it. It's literally this without this so if you see one of the other out there somewhere and it doesn't say hybrid that's not going to be the one that's going to be able to connect to your switch that's going to just be the headphones so make sure you're looking out for that now this system here is designed with gaming in mind now not only do these have bluetooth 5.1 so these are going to connect to your phone they're going to connect to really anything with a Bluetooth connection. So they are not only tied to this dongle, which is great. Honestly, when I first opened them up out of the box, that's kind of what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be something that was locked, that it was a closed system, and it's not. So if you get these, not only are you getting Bluetooth headphones for your Switch, you're getting them for everything else. So that's a bonus. So Bluetooth 5.1, that's all great, but if you're watching this video, the reason you probably are is because you're looking for something for your Switch. And that's where this comes in. We'll come back to the headphones, but I wanna go over the little dongle first. Now, the reason that these two things are paired together is because they are essentially made for each other. You could use a Bluetooth 5.1 connection between whatever you wanted, and you're not going to have very much latency at all. But using these headphones with this dongle, you have almost zero latency. It's pretty much non-existent. That's the whole reason of making this system the way it is, is to have no latency whatsoever. Now I will say, even the other Bluetooth adapters that I tested, like the HomeSpot Pro, they have very, very low latency, and they have a very good connection to headphones, but this is better. It's really hard to honestly tell if you're just playing a regular game, but if you're somebody who relies on split-second type stuff, or, or somebody who is hypersensitive to what's going on on screen and what you're hearing, and maybe somebody who can pick out those little, little tiny delays, this is gonna fix all that. You're not gonna have an issue whatsoever with any delay. All right, so let me go ahead and give you a quick rundown of what this little dongle is. As far as the way it looks, nothing special it's a dongle you know it's got a little button on the side here to pair when it's plugged in it's going to be blinking then you're going to hold it in it should blink blue and red and then when it's paired it will turn purple now i have the home spot pro here and i'm going to use this to compare this to just for a size comparison you know this is the one i use the most well, it was the one I used the most. This is probably going to be that, but as you can see here, this one's a little bit more flat. And it's not a massive difference. This one sticks out a little bit more from the Switch, but it's not even crazy. Some of the older ones, some of the first ones, I can't remember the name brands, but they were way bigger than this. This is still very small. While it does stick out a little bit more than this, still very small. And another thing that's really good about the Epos dongle, it does something the home spot cannot do. Now the audio stick can do this because it's made for these Skull & Co cases. But if you try to put this home spot on there, as you can see, it's not gonna go. The case isn't gonna let it go on there. But the Epos does have a little bit of a clearance, so you are gonna be able to use the Epos with 
most cases. I'm not gonna say all cases, it will work with the Skull & Co case. My guess is as far as cases go, it's going to fit a lot of them. There is a good bit of clearance there, so I think you're gonna be okay. Now something I did try just to see if it would work is I tried to pair another set of headphones to this dongle. The only other ones I have here that are Bluetooth are these Skull Candy over-ear ones that I use sometimes for editing. They would not pair with this. So I don't know if that goes for all other headphones, but like I said, these are the only ones I have here and they did not work. So if you are gonna be using this, it looks like these are gonna be the only headphones you're gonna be able to use with this dongle. But you can use this dongle with other things besides the Switch. It does have pretty much every cable you need to plug it into a PC or you know, PlayStation, Xbox, whatever you're gonna wanna use it for, you're gonna be able to plug this in. So you're really gonna be able to use this with just about anything when it comes to gaming. So moving over to the earbuds themselves. These actually surprised me a lot. I usually have a very tough time getting earbuds to actually fit in my weird shaped ears. I guess I have weird shaped ears because none of them fit. These actually do fit. They go right in, they stay in place. I have absolutely no issues with these falling out. Out of the box, these things are gonna come with, I'm pretty sure these are considered the small tips. It does come with four different sizes. So you're gonna get small, medium, large, and you're actually gonna get extra small as well. And the extra small ones seem to work for my ears very, very well. As I said, I can throw them in there. I don't have to worry about them coming out. Let's put them both in here real quick. They're still in place. So as far as build quality here, these things are super nice. As I said, you can hook these up to your phone or whatever you want. So they do have a button on the side, which is gonna control, you know, starting, pausing music, answering calls, all that good stuff. That's gonna be on the left side. On the right side, there is a microphone and that's gonna work, you know, obviously again, to answer calls. One thing you should know, this microphone will not work if you have it plugged into the switch and you're using the dongle. It only works in the Bluetooth 5.0 mode, I guess. So if you're looking for something with a microphone, this is not gonna do it for the switch. Something else these things do I thought was pretty cool is if you have them both in your ears and you have music playing or something else like that, you know, if you take this one out, it has some type of sensor in it. So when you take it out, all the music or sound, whatever's happening in here is muted until you put it back in. And when you put it back in, the sound just comes back. So if you need to take one out to listen to somebody talk, it's gonna go ahead and just mute everything so you're gonna be able to hear. I think that's a pretty nice little feature. And obviously, you know, when you're spending some money on some Bluetooth headphones, the biggest thing you want to know is how do they sound? And these sound very, very nice. As far as clarity goes and just, just the way everything sounds, everything is really nice, crisp, good low ends, nice mids, highs, everything sounds great. Crystal, crystal clear, I will say that. As far as clarity and sound, I think these sound better than these. I might start using these to edit, to be honest. Now with these, you're gonna get about five to six hours of battery life, which isn't bad, but they do also come with this case. And this case is how you're gonna pair these things. But with this case fully charged, you're actually gonna end up getting 20 hours of these things. Obviously, you can't use them while they are inside of the case, but you are gonna get like three more charges when you have this case with you. So that's cool. Honestly, most of us aren't playing our Switch handheld for five hours at a time anyway. So if you're playing, let's say for a few hours, then you just pop those things back in here and you pick it back up, they're gonna be good to go. They're gonna be fresh again. So battery life really should not be an issue with these things at all. Now, another thing I know I might get in the comments because I am comparing this to the HomeSpot Pro. The HomeSpot Pro has something that I have not seen in any other Bluetooth device for the Switch. And it's honestly the reason that I use this one the most. This one does have two bands just like the Epos, but they're two of the same bands, I guess, if that makes any sense. And they each have their own up and down volume. You can connect them with two different buttons. So if I wanna connect my phone and let's say use Discord to chat, it also has a microphone in it, or maybe just listen to music, I can do that and also hear the audio from the Switch as well. Okay, real quick, me from the future here. I actually just learned something new about these headphones. So as I was sitting here shooting some B-roll for the video, um, I was sitting here playing the Switch and I have them hooked up to the dongle, but I do also have them hooked up to my phone. Now I got a phone call and I actually paused the sound from the Switch and started playing my ringtone in my ear and I could actually answer the phone call while it was still hooked up to not only my phone, but the Switch as well. Now it did stop all the sound from the Switch. You can't hear anything over there when you're on the phone, but once you hang up, it does go right back over. So you can't use them at the exact same time, but they do work together. It looks like when you pull these things out of the case, if the dongle is on it's going to connect to that over the Bluetooth first but if the dongle is not on it will just jump right over to your phone or whatever you have it hooked up to and it will just connect to that so I wanted to let you guys know they don't work at the same time but they do work together this is the only one that does that now 
Having two bands, I thought maybe this one would do that too, but unfortunately, it does not. They don't advertise it, so I, I, I figured it probably didn't, but I do wanna let you know going in, if that's something you're looking for, this one does not do that. Maybe in the second version, the revision of this, maybe they'll put something like that in. I would absolutely love to see something like that integrated into this. In my opinion, this would probably be the best system you could get for Bluetooth for the Switch if it just had that one thing. As far as build quality goes with everything compared to the home spot, it's night and day. This stuff is a thousand percent nicer than something like the home spot. I think the only thing that's even close to this would probably be the audio stick. That one's built pretty nice, but these, these are just way nicer. So overall with this system, yeah, I love it. I think it's great. It's probably what I'm going to be using going forward, but it's got a few cons that I have to mention. But first, let's go ahead and just talk about all the pros. One, you have a full system. If you're just starting out with a Switch or you don't have anything Bluetooth and you just want everything in one, you can get it. Is it cheap? No, not really. To get everything that comes with this set, headphones, dongle, case, all the other stuff, you're looking at $200. To me, that's a fair price. Considering what something like the home spot costs, maybe $40, $50 for something like this. And when you consider the price of Bluetooth earbuds, and especially ones that are this nice, I think this is a very, very nice package for $200. Now obviously, not everybody's gonna have $200 to spend on something like this, and that's totally understandable. As I said, I do have another video with five other ones that I really like that I'm gonna link at the end of this video if you wanna check that out. But again, for $200, this system, I think it's well worth it. Now, as I said, it does have a few cons. One of them, it's not the biggest deal in the world, but the fact that the case does not have a place to store the dongle is a little bit of a con to me. It would be nice if this thing fit in there with the headphones just to have a place to keep it all together. It does come with this little rubber case that you can put it in and it's kind of got a little, uh, little hangy thing there. It does make it a lot bigger, but you can put this in the switch and use it with the case on if you want to. It does give it a little bit of protection, but you know, I would have really liked to have seen this thing been able to, uh, to fit inside this case somewhere. Again, maybe something for a revision. We'll have to wait and see on all that, but taking all that into consideration, again, I do recommend this system. I'm gonna have a link below where you can check this out, but that is an Amazon affiliate link, so if you click on that, it does help this channel, and I do appreciate that. One more thing I do wanna make clear. Epos did send these over to me for the purposes of this video, but this is not a sponsored video. They are not paying me. All these opinions are my own. Meant to say that in the beginning, but just wanted to let you know. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, make sure you go ahead and leave those in the comments below. I usually try to respond to every comment that I can, at least for the first three hours. So if you catch this video when it goes up and you do have a question or just wanna say hello, definitely jump down in the comments and I'll see you there. But guys, that's gonna do it for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like, make sure you are subscribed, and we'll see you in the next one.